Gemini, hi, welcome to your read for the first week of November. I'm going to be doing a general spread, past, present, future. We will be using clarifiers. There will be no, um, there will be no um, oracle deck this week. Um, these are general reads, so take what, what is wrong with these cards? I knew I had a weird card sticking out there. Okay. So take what resonates and leave the rest, right? These are general reads, so they're not going to resonate with everybody. I think just for the people that really need to hear them, right? So if you'd like your own personal read, Gemini, um, reach out to me via Instagram, and I will gladly do your read for you. I got these backwards. I look like such a clown now on camera trying to shuffle your cards. But yeah, if you'd like a personal read, reach out to me on Instagram through uh, request DM and I will respond to you with the details for a tarot read or birth chart or uh, tarot with your current astrology, what's going on in space. I take a snapshot of your uh, birth chart and what's going on in space with your tarot. Give you an accurate view. And those resonate 100% of the time. Um, so, let's get started. Yeah, I get so many comments now, and you guys say, well, that's not my story. Well, maybe you don't need tarot. There have been a few times in my life where YouTube tarot's resonated for me, and it's been a lifesaver. Um, particularly when I had to move after my mom passed away. And I'll never forget that. Mars was going into Gemini, so I had like this do or die feeling come about me and I found a new place to live out here in Osaka really quick. Okay, that's enough about me. Let's see what you got here. Death, there's a big change coming for you, Gemini. It is in your General energy here, very good. Okay, you have the Six of Wands in the past with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Ouch. There could have been somebody here that you felt victorious, you felt very seen with. They made you feel really good. Like you were almost thinking, hey, this is my soulmate. This is my twin flame. This is somebody sweet, somebody generous, somebody that's going to give me attention. And yeah, very nice, very nice energy here. The six of wands and the six of coins that you felt super balanced. And all of a sudden we have the seven of swords though. Like... <laughs> It just doesn't belong there. Now, I think this is going to resonate two different ways for Gemini. Some of you still have this person in your energy. And it wasn't necessarily that they're lying, cheating, stealing type thing. Although for some of you it is. It's going to be more of a, you guys are trying to level up here. You guys are trying to level up your relationship somehow. But that, that's having some sort of conflict. And it's because of something that you're not seeing here. And I believe it's death, that change, right? Um, the sun is in Scorpio. That's the death card. I feel like these changes are coming for you this month. So, you know, that's a good indicator that this is for now, November 2021. My readings are not timeless, by the way. Um, we have the Nine of Swords here in the present with the Six of Coins and the Ace of Cups. Now it's funny you get another six of coins in the present. So like you have 
666 over here. No, it's not the devil's number. To me, it's just that it's something very well balanced, right? Now, under the Seven of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. So, for some of you, um, there was some lying, cheating, stealing going on, and that puts you in your head, and you're currently in this energy of why does this always happen to me and losing some sleep maybe there could be some drinking smoking that type of stuff going on staying up late and it's getting kind of hard to balance those energies of whatever left you here or whatever you're trying to balance out the ace of cups here um it's pretty much telling me that, you know, there's been some tears shed here. And, you know, I think this Ace of Cups is awakening to your emotion, your emotional life here in regards to whatever's going on. You know, whether it is that they are lying, you're cheating, stealing, or whether it's that there's a problem leveling up this relationship or getting it off the ground here. In the future energies, the Eight of Swords, the King of Coins, and the Five of Cups. So yeah, somebody's having a difficult time getting out of their head, Gemini. Um, I think that there's one particular person here and that's really keeping in your head and trying to, not that they're trying to stay in there, but it's, it's like they're living in your head rent free, you know, and I feel like in the future that's still, there's still going to be some of that lingering, especially because this person looks very stable this person possibly looked very good to you right just like they did in the past so the reason i do past present future is to break a cycle here there's something here that you're holding on to and death is being prevented it's scorpio season baby i think it's time to let go of something here because you are in this energy of crying over some spilled milk let's see here use this deck Let's see that Six of Cups in the past. Definitely, definitely feeling that it was like soulmate. Um, some of you may have even gotten like a birth chart or something or like a synastry chart and seen that you guys have like past life connection, that type stuff. You got judgment, justice, and the Two of Cups. You may have been connecting to this person after like a long time of not connecting to anybody. And I think that's what makes it so difficult here with that Nine of Swords. Let's see here. With the Seven of Swords over here. Were they lying, cheating, stealing, or were they, you're just trying to level up here? I feel like it's both. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands, and then the Two of Swords. So, like, I feel like this is going to resonate for those people I was talking about that are just trying to get this off the ground and make some sort of change in the dynamic of a relationship because the wheel of fortune's there you have the two of swords here though clarifying that as well and so that's like moon and libra vibes here and lately this card's been coming out a lot and well here we are gemini like um you know that's definitely something i think Someone's too scared to look at. Someone's too scared to realize that the relationship needs to level up. Or for some people, because usually like um, when I picture this card, I always picture that there's two men fighting for this woman on either side, right? So there could have been another third party there. I don't know why I always picture that. I think it's because I used to have a tarot joke deck and it used to have two guys like beefing about that one lady who's too afraid to make a decision. 
So maybe you had somebody who was too afraid to make a decision about love with you or another energy. And they probably just never made up their mind. See that Nine of Swords? Ouch. That's the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. And I feel that you feel kind of like uh, you were stuck in your head here for a bit. And I do admit with this Two of Wands, like the first thing I felt was, why was I so stupid to let this energy kind of come in and make me a fool here? You know, you don't have the fool here, but I feel like... <laughs> Yeah, you felt kind of foolish there. That's what's keeping you up. Let's see what this Ace of Cups is. It's kind of out of place, this Ace of Cups. Although I see that this is some sort of crying going on on the 3D here for you. King of Coins again. So you could be dealing with some sort of Earth sign, maybe Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. And like I said, yeah, this is Tears and the Five of Cups is clarifying that you also have the five of cups under this so and it's definitely about an earth sign being too slow to make a decision here um, some of some of you people have this in, in your energy still somebody wanting to make a decision here not coming out of their head because it's on their side over here as well the eight of swords twice they have the eight of swords twice on their side heartbreak the death card and the High Priestess, so like on their side, they know intuitively, they know that they want to be with you, but at the same time that they're going to end up breaking your heart here, the death is showing up, or they may have ended things with you. Uh, you know, with the High Priestess, sir, I think they know you're intuitive, or they know that you do like tarot or something like that. And maybe that's kind of scary for this person because if they feel like you see everything about them or maybe you make this person feel like they're see-through. God, that's weird. That's the weirdest message I've ever gotten there with the High Priestess, but whatever. That's probably going to be for a select few of you, my Geminis. See this King of Coins here, Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, player energy, not willing to build with you. Basic stuff, right? We all know why you're here. You're here because this dude is just basically in and out. And they can't make up their decision. But they're, they're glad to come in and out of your life, though. They are glad to come in and out. There is a decision here. Let's clarify that death card here. Eight of Wands, the Empress, and the Hangman. Yeah, this is the Eight of Wands, and there is nobody here. There, this is the only card with nobody in it. This is from spirit, right? You're getting communication from spirit that things need to change in some sort of dynamic you got going on here. Um, could be mother to children or there could be somebody else involved as well or maybe somebody that's like a third party that's pregnant, that type thing. Um, I don't know why this reads turning out so bad for you, Gemini, and I feel bad, but the cool thing about that is that this hangman shows up. Meaning you're seeing the world differently when it comes to relationships and who you're going to let in your space, especially this person. This person's not coming back in. Some of you are waiting for them to come back in, and I say that, yeah, they're going to come back in just like they've been coming back in, and they're going to be coming back out. Okay, so if you guys are waiting for that to come back, yeah, it will. This month? No. Next month? No. I'd say maybe around summertime if something, <laughs> they get bored or after the the expecting mother has the baby and they're bored, they're going to come holler at you, if, especially if something's married here because you do have the judgment next to the justice here and that two of swords. So, yeah, there is a lot of that weird energy going on. I'm not making it up. Let's 
So, anyways, that's all I got for you, Gemini. Um, I hope whatever this situation is, you get out of your head about it. Um, I think you already have, honestly, and I think you're moving towards better things and allowing spirit to communicate to you with that eight of wands over there. And right now, maybe there's nobody in your space right now romantically. Okay, great. Because that gives you time to work on other things. It gives you time to work on eighth house stuff, right? Gives you a lot of time to work on that. Your spiritual side. I did say one of you are reading tarot. <laughs> it's there. So, you know, focus on that. Maybe focus on your own business or a school or something. So, yeah. That's all I got for you, Gemini. Take it easy. Bye.